OTT began as an idea to kind of showcase really good wrestling. I've been lucky enough to travel the world wrestling um, and everywhere I go there was always a wrestling company that showcased like really really good wrestling and there wasn't anything like that in Ireland. We had some really good wrestlers but there just was nobody showcasing uh, wrestling events um, in Ireland and showcasing the top talent. It's about like showing that we do have not just Finn Balor, not just Seamus, there's plenty of other Irish guys and girls here that are just as talented and are just waiting for their break really. I think the atmosphere is just, wrestling used to be so cool back when Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock and these guys were around and WWE had to go off in a, in a more PG direction and it left behind a lot of those fan base. Our fans are just fans, they're just so appreciative that they have a place to go and see great wrestling again. It's aimed at an adult fan base, not that we do anything kind of seedy, but it's just, it's more storylines that you can come to our show and you know you're not going to be sitting there five minutes into it going, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed to be here. It's storylines that people can relate to that are over 18, so that's, that's the whole objective of it. Like, I think any, any wrestling fan that comes to a wrestling show, they'll enjoy it and they'll cheer it. And when you're in the ring, you can feel the energy. It, like, I'm, not, I'm not trying to sound ridiculous here, but you feel, you feel that energy, they drive on you, you know? The ODD fans, I feel, they live it. They live, they live their life for each month because they're waiting to come back. Well, we have a great time. Um, always they live with a bigger smile, you know? What ODD! For too long you have ignored the, the challenges from Los Conquistadors. We are here and we are ready for you. Because we're Irish based, we try to give our characters a, um, a background that most Irish people can relate to. So within you know the first 60 seconds of seeing one of our characters, you know what they're about. So you kind of have like Martina. Martina's the session mom, she just goes from party to party and during the day she's just mostly hung over so she goes to the shops in her pajamas and stuff. She's just waiting for the next session. I'm also a receptionist and a barmaid. Uh, just pretty much I literally work just to pay the way to get to wrestle more. I'm very like loud and jokey all the time anyway. I, 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 I be a joker so that's why I prefer doing comedy wrestling. I really like the fact that I have a character now that I can just have fun with rather than be like a serious girl or this, that, either. I have a lot of fun this way and that's generally me, is just I like to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I have a very bad back uh, from all like six years and I train every week still so it's, it is very, very trying on the body so my back will be very bad. I've had a few concussions which are very serious and I've rolled on my ankles a few times and uh, just kind of constant like cracks in my hands and stuff like that. But I've been very lucky to not actually put myself out permanently yet, and I hope we stay that way. <laughs> Unfortunately, like injuries are just a part of what we do. It's it's not. It's you know as I always say to them, they have obligations to each other to protect each other. It's not like we're just training to be you know basketball players. It's a big move because there's never been an Irish championship for, for a female competitor. So uh, we, just, we just thought it was time, you know what I mean? And it's very prestigious when a wrestling company to say, here, we want you to represent their company as their women's champion.
towards uh, I've put my life into OTT for the last two years. You never really have a point in your life where you can actually pinpoint that this exact moment is the best moment of my life. Like nothing's going to top that. Just being the first and having that crowd that have just been behind me since day one. Having that, just that cheer and that like, uh, it's a bit like, like that pinpoint is the moment of my life.